Okay, here we are. Interlude that never ends. So this song was... I remember previewed a long time ago. I don't remember being there when it was previewed, but regardless, it was previewed way back when. On his Instagram, I'm pretty sure. And I know a lot of people have been waiting for this song, dude. Myself included. There's been loops of this song, bro. Legit. Yo, I'm so glad we got this album, dude. Like, we could have gotten nothing, and I wouldn't be sitting here right now making this. <laughs> Legit. I'm so glad this came out. Regardless of, like, uh, what people have been saying about the features and, you know, his mom being wanting to get cash or being a cash grab and doing all that stuff. He could have just not done anything. We would have no album, so I'm grateful regardless, dude. <sighs> That was a good song, dude. I actually enjoyed that a lot. It literally made me sit there and I was like, oof, this is exactly how I thought it would sound. Um, all right, so that was the interlude that never ends. Next song is Damons. Damons. <laughs> With Joey Badass and Kemba. So let's get into it. I'm going to say something if I recognize it, but we'll see. Because there's been rumors around this song. And it's like a remix of a certain song in the past, but we'll see. Okay, I think it is, and you guys can correct me if you know or if you don't know. I think this song originally was called Who the Fuck is God? I could be mistaken though. Okay, so I think right where they cut it off, X was saying, Who the fuck is God? Who the fuck? I have no idea, I could be wrong, I could be completely off, but that's my feeling on it, I swear. I've heard this before, at least part of it. Yo, he's going in, dude. Jeez, <laughs> he's going in, dude. Yeah, that was Kemba. He said his name at the end. Regardless, I think that song was good. I, Like I said, I don't know if it's a spin or not a spin-off. I guess that's just what I'm going to call it. Of who the fuck is God, I think. I don't know. Regardless, let's move on. I like that song. I like Kemba's part a lot, actually. He, he switched it up at the end like crazy. Alrighty. It's number 16. Attention. Question or exclamation point. Let's go. Okay. I already like the sound of this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, dude. The beat go hard, dude. I was like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> All right, dude, this is in the top three, dude. I enjoy that song a lot, actually. That one might be up there with the Craig Zen song, dude. The only time I feel alive. That one literally is just as good as this one. I love those two so far. And if y'all are listening to the album, too, in the in the future, as y'all are watching this, uh, what are y'all's favorite songs on this album? It's going to be interesting to see the diversity. Next song is Eat It Up, though. Let's go. Mm, okay, I like this one a lot. Might be as good as the other two, literally. <laughs> I love when he does his voice, dude. It's so funny, dude. But it sounds good, though. <laughs> Pull up on you like Darth Vader. <laughs> oh man, okay, this one's just like for sure up there, dude. <laughs> Bro. It literally felt like he was freestyling like the whole thing. Literally, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a freestyle. It was so good, dude. That reminded me of um, Up Like an Insomniac from um, the Ghetto Christmas Carol days. Y'all already know. All right, dude, that one was mad good. Legit. We'll go back and uh, I'll say which ones are my favorite going back. But next is Voss with Sauce Waka. So this one has been released. I, I don't know if to say officially or unofficially. Um, but it's been out in the past. It was on Spotify, I remember, like a year ago, I think. It, it's been out, it was out a long time ago, but I guess they, they took it down, I remember. So I guess it's here. I don't know if anything's going to change with it. We'll see. If not, 
you know, not much you can do, but we'll see. Good song regardless if you haven't listened to it, though. It's, uh... It's about Voss. <laughs> the water. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Honestly, don't know. Yeah, because I remember the song, you know, released first on Spotify by Sauce Walker. Yeah, this is his name. And then I remember it being previewed again, like, a couple months down the line by DJ Carnage. Certain... I don't know, it was really interesting what was going on with this song, but I guess it's here. Hasn't changed though. Sauce Walk about to come in. Yeah. It all sounds the same from what I remember. Hey! Yeah. Alright, so there wasn't much to say about that song. It's It hasn't changed from when I listened to it way back when. I swear, it was, it was a year ago. I wasn't even living where I am now when this came out. Literally, I think... Yeah, I, I literally wasn't. I remember running to the song back when I used to run. Um, but yeah, that was Voss. Good song if you haven't listened to it. Um, next is Royalty. We're going to skip past just just because this one already came out and I've listened to it before. It's an okay song. I don't really like um, the other features too much, but I'm not going to hate it. I listen to it if it's on. If not, it's all good. Um, we're going to go to next, the, the song after that. Wanna Grow Old, I Won't Let Go featuring Jimmy. Levy, Le Levat. We're gonna see. Song twenty. We're almost there. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so glad we got this album. I don't even care, dude. This song is beautiful, bro. Super good. And it's like, I can just imagine it. You're just driving down during a sunset on a long road. No cars, no traffic. It's just you on that road, dude. Alright, this is one of my favorites for sure. For sure, dude. Regardless if it's a different uh, type of sound to the others that I said are really good for me. I really enjoyed that one. That one was super good. Made me feel like calm in a weird way. I don't know. That song was super good though. One of my favorites for sure already. Alrighty. 21. Heart Eater, which I've already listened to. It's come out already. It's It's been out for a fat minute. There was one version I remember released on SoundCloud first. I guess it got leaked. Um, That sounded different to the official one that came out. Uh, So I, I've been listening to the song for a fat minute. Um, So we're going to skip past that. It's a good song though. I like listening to it still. Okay, 22, North Star Remix with Joyner Lucas. So I don't know if they mean North Star by Shining by the North Star. No, 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 no. That's a different song. I don't know. We're going to see. Remix. Hold on. We'll see. Remix, huh? I'm trying to remember. This is a song that, like, released, but not officially. Okay, yeah, it's this one. So they, re they chose to put Joyner Lucas on this song? Interesting. Oh my god, he's going in, dude. Alright, the song wasn't too bad. Not my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so good, though. I think it was a good remix. Um, we are gonna move on to the next song, though. Chase slash Glass Shards. I'm gonna see... Glass Shards sounds very familiar. I don't know why. Like I said, I did listen to a lot of snippets um, a while ago, but they all kind of left my mind at this point. I remember this name, the Glass Shards, though. We're going to get into it. What are you doing out in the middle of this field? Okay. I think I recognize the beat already. I feel like he's previewed this beat before, though. I might be tripping. I'm pretty sure I've seen a clip of him previewing this beat. He's like sitting in a blue room or something, or is in his studio. Yo, Ichabod Veins, I don't know where he's from. Okay, this is what I expected. I feel like this should have been the beginning, huh? Weird. Because I think now he's gonna go chiller. Yeah, okay, okay. Damn! <laughs> Yo, you saying some crazy things, dude. Oh man, I wanted more from that, bro. I really like the the beat on the song and everything. I think Ichabod, uh, or however you say it, Ichabod Veins did really good on this song, though. 
I like that one. I don't think it's in my favorites, but it's pretty close, honestly, right there. But we're gonna go to Numb the Pain after whatever just happened here. Okay, here we are. Numb the Pain. Let's go. And I, um, recall hearing this on, um, uh, on his Instagram. And it, ever since then, it's been looped on YouTube. It's been remixed, so. Already, and that was Numb the Pain. Honestly, um, since I've heard it already, didn't really have much to say about it. Um, I guess in a way it was kind of looped still here, but that's fine. Uh, I still like the song regardless. Um, here we are at the last song. It's all fading to black featuring Blink 182. I don't really listen to them. I'm interested to hear how this last song will go. Because I think the last song of Skins was really fitting. I think that song, um... What is it called? What are you so afraid of? I think that was really like a good, like if X were to have a last song, I think that was a really good last song. But we'll see how it's all fading to black. We'll end off his final album. Let's go, y'all. Let's go. So crazy to think, man. It's the last time we get anything new from him. Okay, this is really good so far. I really like the song so far, y'all. Don't really have much to say besides I'm just like kind of taking it all in right now. It's all fading to black. I was low-key almost about to tear up, bro, like that. Like, just, uh... All right, hold on. Don't play sad all of a sudden. Um, That was insane. I really like that last song. Is it as good as uh, What You're So Afraid Of? I don't really want to compare them. doesn't really make sense, too. Regardless, that was a really good last song. Almost got me, bro. Just, like, thinking about it. It's crazy, dude. This is last time we'll get an album from him. Ugh, that sucks, dude. It, it really feels like, you know... Like a journey in a way, because I remember when Seventeen came out, and I was like so hyped for it, dude. And then Question Mark came out. Times were good. Um, but I was listening to that album, and here we are at the last one. That last song really like put the nail in the coffin. <sighs> oh man, that was a really good album. Let's uh let's summarize it real quick. Yo, almost got me. Y'all almost about to see me tear up, bro. Um. I guess let's get this out of the way first. Um, since this is, you know, his album after he passed, a lot of it didn't feel finished, but I think they did a good job filling it out, whether it be with features or grabbing songs that haven't been released but been kind of leaked. I think they did really good. There's a lot of songs I like on here. Let me just go through it real quick. I like the It's All Fading to Black, super good. Chase slash Glass Shards, hella good. Want to Grow Old, I liked a lot. Um, eat it up, attention, and interlude that never ends. The only time I feel alive. Like, there's a lot of good songs in here. I think I like the Noise Cyrus one too, but I don't know. It felt interesting to listen to that song a different way. Limbo, pretty good. And I'm gonna say X Bitch was good. Ugly was good. O honestly, just a lot of songs. I'm gonna go back and listen to it on my own time, of course, but. First impressions, I really like it. I think it's a good place to stop. Or, yeah, I guess to stop. Well, this is going to be his last album already, we know. But yeah, that's it. That's his last album. We might get EPs or something in the future. Collaborations for sure. Because I know they, there was a little Nas X song that was supposed to be on here, but but was taken off because of the backlash You know, of little Nas X being on this album. Which sucks. We'll probably get that song down the line. I don't know really know what's going to go on with that song or X's part of it. Regardless, I know this is really random for my channel, but this meant a lot to me to do. Oh, man. Just got to say thanks to X for all this music, bro. And yeah, y'all, I'm going to sit here. 
and call the video here. Hit the like button, subscribe if y'all are new. I don't do reactions a lot, so this will be the last time unless some other X stuff comes out music-wise. And I probably won't react to more of his music again. Uh, regardless, let me know what y'all's favorite song was if y'all listen to the album if you're, or if you don't even listen to him. Regardless, super good album. I'm going to end it here. Hope y'all have a good one. And yeah, I'm out of here, y'all. Peace out.